I'm Jessica Choba. 2016 will definitely be the year that one of the world's richest men reveals himself as a supervillain. And this is Nerdist News. It's 2016, y'all, and welcome back. With the International Consumer Electronics Show kicking off tonight, we're sure to get a glimpse of our mega high-tech near future. But what's our real-world Lex Luthor, Mark Zuckerberg, got up his sleeve this year? If you guessed coding a real-life Jarvis, you would be correct. Yes, the boy genius tech wizard has announced his 2016 resolution, and it is to literally bring Tony Stark's AI butler into the real world. According to Zuck, my personal challenge for 2016 is to build a simple AI to run my home and help me with my work. You can think of it kind of like Jarvis in Iron Man. I'll start teaching it to understand my voice, to control everything in our home, music, lights, temperature, and so on. I'll teach it to let friends in by looking at their faces when they ring the doorbell. I'll teach it to let me know if anything is going on in Max's room that I need to check on when I'm not with her. Sounds cool! Kind of. I mean, aren't you gonna do any of this yourself? But I mean, whatever, like you can't get up and open a door. But just please make sure it turns out more vision than Ultron. The last thing we need is a sociopathic AI butler creeping on our kids, deciding which guests it wants to allow into our homes, and eventually taking on an indestructible vibranium body that shoots lasers out of its hands. In the end though, isn't what Zuckerberg's promising just a smart house. I mean, right now, you can buy a Nest thermostat connected to a Scout security system, buy one of those smart doorbells with a camera, and control all of them from your phone. It's cool that Zuckerberg wants to be able to shout commands at a single understanding AI, but what he's describing isn't that different from what's already available for a few hundred bucks. Maybe what the Zuck really needs to be focusing on is designing an Iron Man suit. So when you rocket into the next Facebook press conference hovering over the crowd with hand-mounted repulsor jets, then we'll be impressed, Mark. In the end, though, it's... Honestly, it's still pretty cool. He plans to call the whole thing himself, more of a personal challenge than a big Facebook initiative, getting him back to his nerdy roots. But what do you guys think? Are you ready for your own AI butler that almost definitely observes and sells all of your personal information to the US government? How would you put a real world Jarvis to use? Let's discuss. We're back with a full week of new episodes. I've got new hair, again! But make sure you check out all the amazing stuff we did the last two weeks, including my blooper reel from 2015. It is, honestly. Pretty amazeballs. For now, though, I'm gonna blast you with Iron Man repulsors. Psh, 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 psh. You're so f***ed. <laughs>